Small Steps to Big Faith, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a night light on for that night light is out of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8. This is the wisdom literature of the Older Testament. It says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. In our walk with God, we often fall into the trap of perfectionism. We hear tales of great Christian leaders who spent hours in fervent prayer at dawn and we think, I could never measure up to that. And this mindset paralyzes us, preventing us from taking even the smallest steps in our spiritual journey. As the saying goes, the perfect is often the enemy of the good. Consider this act of prayer. We may envision the ideal prayer life as rising at 4 a.m., communing with God for hours on end. While this practice can be admirable, it's not the only way to cultivate a meaningful relationship with our Heavenly Father. By setting such a lofty standard, we may discourage ourselves from praying at all. Instead, let's focus on progress, not perfection. The good, a simple heartfelt conversation with God each day is far better than the perfect that never materializes. Start small, offer a sentence or two in gratitude, petition, or praise. And as you build this habit, you may find yourselves naturally expanding and in, in uh enlarging your prayer time with short bursts of communication with God throughout your day. Remember, God doesn't expect perfection from us. He desires a genuine relationship, one that grows and deepens over time. In Ecclesiastes, we're reminded that the patient in spirit is better than the proud. This patience applies not only to our circumstances, but also to our spiritual growth. Take encouragement from the words of Jesus in Matthew 17. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be removed, and and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Even the smallest act of faith can lead to a tremendous growth and change. So today, challenge yourself to take one step, one small step in your spiritual disciplines, whether it's prayer, Bible reading or acts of service, remember that consistency in small things often leads to significant transformation. Don't let the illusion of perfection hinder your progress. Embrace the good and watch as God works in and through your faithful efforts. Uh, Heavenly Father, help us to overcome the paralysis of perfectionism. Grant us the wisdom to start small and the patience to grow steadily in our relationship with you. May we find the joy of faith and trusting that you are pleased with our sincere efforts, no matter how humble they may seem. In Jesus' most holy, precious, and powerful name, amen.